IronCAD now has a sheet metal loft command. Uh, you can see a couple of profiles here that we've created uh, made up of arcs and lines and it helps that uh, the two profiles have the same number of arcs and lines that helps create a clean developable uh, sheet metal part. So we'll uh, go ahead and start the create loft command and we'll select the two sections there and you get a preview there. You have some profile location options. You can change the stock thickness, uh, select a bin number, and we can link this to the existing profiles and hit OK and it creates the sheet metal part. So you can see we can unfold that, take a look at the flat pattern, and uh, you can see the bin lines on there and uh, flat patterns there. You can fold that back up and uh, we'll go to another example here of a bit of a sheet metal tray that uh, lofts across those two sections. So again, we'll go to the Create Loft command, pick the sections, and go ahead and just hit OK on that. Uh, you can also continue to add features. So we can go in and add a couple uh, bins on the side for some flanges. And I'll put one uh, over on the other side as well. And finally, we'll make uh, a large circular cutout. And this really uh, extends the functionality of IronCAD sheet metal and being able to cut across all those, the lofted part and the bins and still unfold this uh, really gives a, a powerful uh, set of tools for creating complex sheet metal parts. The flat pattern's there, and we can fold it back up, take a look at the folded part, and uh, that completes this video.